welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hey how you doing my name is ash i am a makeup artist and book lover and today's video is the start of kind of like a mini decluttering series So I'll be honest, I kicked off my decluttering series a while ago with brushes. I never uploaded that video. I don't even know if I still have that footage, but I got rid of like half of my brushes, which was a feat. And then I decided on a whim to de declutter all my eyeliners. Not all of them. I kept a lot of them, but I decluttered a bunch of those. And I will share that more when I talk about what I'm decluttering next, which is lipsticks. I already have done the declutter. This is now the next day. My arm is still kind of stained from some of the lipsticks because I swatched pretty much everything except for like the glosses because honestly, I didn't need to. Before I jump into this, I just want to reiterate some of the things that come up during the colors is no, I'm not giving any lip products away to anybody because that's kind of gross. They're used and like, why? I do have some unused lipsticks that I'm throwing into for a future giveaway, which will be over on probably my TikTok. And uh, yeah, please don't ask for any makeup. I would only feel comfortable sending gently used makeup to close friends and family. Unfortunately, I have no close friends and my family doesn't like makeup. So there's that. Yeah, I think that covers pretty much the gist of it. I am really trying to focus on decluttering like a lot of makeup that I haven't used over the years. I've done several declutters and I've just been holding on to things and I'm just, I'm over it at this point in my life. I still love makeup. I love creating makeup. I just need a break from like having so much. So I am starting with over 200 lip products. So without further ado, let's just hop into it. All right, so here lies all of my lipsticks. I have eyeliners here, I'll get to that in a moment. This container is basically all of my liquid lipsticks and bullet lipsticks. This bag on my left is lip glosses, oils, treatments, etc. And this bag is a mix of new-ish to me lip products that I bought like a while ago and haven't used yet. And I have a couple more on the side here that you cannot see. So overall, I have over 200 lip products and I'm gonna try to swatch majority of this so I can determine what I want to keep and what I'm getting rid of. I really want to dwindle this down like a lot, like a lot, a lot. I do not wear lipstick all the time. When I wear a lip product, it's generally a lip oil or a liquid lipstick. So I'll probably get rid of most of my bullet lipsticks, but that's the lipsticks. We'll get to that in a second. I'm gonna talk about the eyeliners now. Okay, so here are 41 eyeliners that I'm getting rid of. I did not film this portion, but I did swatch all my eyeliners, which I will throw up a little image here. I posted it on my Instagram stories. I just have way too many eyeliners. A lot of these are ColourPop ones that have dried out. Some of them are very, very old. Some of them are liquid liners that have dried out. And some of them are just colors I don't like. 41 eyeliners gone. I'm off to a good start. All right, so here are just a few of my lipsticks. I'm trying to do this semi by brand. Don't know how well that's gonna go since I didn't organize it by brand, but we're gonna roll with this. I have Kaja, Creature, Wet n Wild, Sugar Pill, a few NYX, We Makeup, I think that's what this brand is, LEJ Beauty, that's not all my LEJ Beauty, I have others, whatever. So we're gonna get started with these Kaja ones. I forget what these are called, but they're glossy. I don't know if I'm going to keep these. That one's kind of pretty. These are those. I, you know what? This color's really pretty. I don't think I'm going to keep these. I love Creature Cosmetics and I think they actually reformulated their lipsticks. These were from the Trick or Treat collection. Some unique shades. I don't have a blue lipstick. It's a little intense. And there's also this white. These are a little bit on the drying side, but it's not like too bad. I think I'm going to keep the blue and the white because they're the most unique. I have like similar colors like this, not like a straight up orange. And browns just don't look that great on me. So I'm gonna keep those two. This is Wet n Wild Toffee Talk. This is a beautiful shade but I don't like how it looks on me. So no, that, this is Sugar Pill Anti-Socialite. Is that it? Yeah. This is, oh my God, this is so dried out. Never mind. This is a beautiful, beautiful deep red. Fenty Beauty Uncuffed. I don't like the applicator of this and I didn't really like the formula on this. So that's a no. 
deck of Scarlet. This is a tube. This was gifted to me. I don't really like that shade on me. NYX Lingerie XXL. I actually really like the formula on this. This is the black. I'm going to keep the black. I am a huge fan of black lipsticks. And then these two is Unhooked and Undressed. This one is Unhooked. Ooh, that is so pretty. I don't wear these enough. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep this one because it's more of a cool tone. Another Fenty one. This is the shade Riri. Very moussey. Uh, hmm. No, not going to keep that. This is from the brand Pharmacy. This was also gifted to me by a friend on TikTok. It is a pretty color, but that's going to be a maybe for now. Like I said, I think this is Wee Makeup. I got this through Skeepers. I think I'm going to actually get rid of all these because like, they're really comfortable, but they're quite at least over a year old at this point, and I really have not reached for them at all. So maybe I'll keep this one. Yeah, I'm going to keep that one. And these ones are from LAJ Beauty. This is Sable. This is one of my favorite shades. It's like a dark, dark gray. It's not a black. It's absolutely gorgeous. I actually use quite a bit of that. I don't use up liquid lipsticks that often. This is Nude AF. That's what it is. Very nude. I don't think that that's going to look that great on me. That's going to be a maybe too. I really like her formula. This one is Umber. Ooh, that is gorgeous. That is very similar to what my sugar pill was, but a little bit deeper. I like that. And this one is Dolores. This is a purple. It's like a purpley blue. I'll keep that just because it's different. Different enough that I like it. Now I have Black Moon, Lunar Beauty, another NYX, Medusa's, Jacqueline, Glen Bunny, and Anastasia. This tube is so disgusting. This is Sleepwalker from Black Moon. This is my favorite black lipstick ever. If you're looking for a very good, very black, not gonna move, gonna last a while, liquid lipstick. This is the one. It's still good, still keeping it. I've gone through like three tubes of that. Luna Beauty, this is Dreamsicle. It's pretty, but it's not a shade that I gravitate towards. And then I think the next three are all quite old because they're from like a Halloween collection. So I think I'm gonna get rid of these. This is a beautiful color though, this orange. Yeah, the formula is like really separating. So that's not good. And this black, I don't know if Manny still has it available. I don't know if it was limited edition. It was a good black. Not as comfortable as the Black Moon Cosmetics, but still like a decent one. This is the NYX Shine Loud and Fierce Flirt. So one side is like the gloss, and then this is the color. Like, it's a pretty color, but I just don't think I like how these look on my lips. Medusa's makeup, this was gifted to me by the brand. I did like the look that I used this with, but then I just literally haven't touched it. And I don't wear reds that often. Two from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. Obviously, the Jaclyn Cosmetics is not a thing anymore, but that is a very nice nude for me. A little too nudey, but if I pair it with the right lip liner, it works. It's just a beautiful pink. I think I'm going to keep the nude one. Blend Bunny Matte Lip Cream. This is very, very pretty. Very comfortable. It's very comparable to this one that I kept, but it's also very similar to the Sugar Pill one. So I'm going to keep that. Oh, and my Anastasia ones. Some of these are quite old. Some of these I have repurchased, but it's been a while. Crush. These shades are ones that I keep going back to. Strawberry is one of my absolute favorite, like, ready shades. There's just something about the tone of it that is just absolutely beautiful. This is one of the last ones that I bought, so that one I'm going to keep. Trouble is also one of my favorites. Obviously, I like a more cool tone like that, but this one is quite old. Catnip is, again... Just a beautiful shade. Love that. But it's my old one. And then this one is American Doll. This is a blue based red. Will make your teeth look whiter. Absolutely beautiful. But it's quite old. I prefer the strawberry shade over this red. Can you tell that I absolutely love KVD Beauty? I bought all these lipsticks. Granted, I bought them when they were on sale, like major sale, so they are quite old. I got them. I don't remember when these launched, but shortly after they launched and they were on sale. Might keep a few of these. I might get rid of some. One that I unfortunately have to get rid of is this one. This is Bow and Arrow. This is obviously the old packaging. This was my absolute favorite shade that they did. 
It's just gorgeous. I have not found one that I can replace this with. I'm going to quickly just swatch these down my arm and then I will tell you which ones I'm going to keep. All right, so here are all the KVD Beauty swatches. I'm drawn to this first one. This one up here. Everything else I think I can do without. So wow, shocker. All right, so now we're getting mainly into all my bullet lipsticks. There are some liquid lipsticks in here because the last bit in my little container off to the side is Unearthly Cosmetics. So we're gonna get through all this. I am going to be a little more cut through it with this. This is from Hank and Henry. Looks red, but it's more of an orange. I love the packaging of this, by the way. Like, press the top, pops out. Beautiful, but I don't like it. This is the matte lip cream from the Barbie collection. You know, everybody loves the matte lip creams from NYX. I don't think that I particularly like them. I'm just not a big pink lipstick person. Alma Beauty Kathleen. This is a beautiful... Just broke it. It's a beautiful shade, but it just doesn't look that great on me. Belle and Argent something at Hello Nude. Oh, this is like a very sheer one. Not into that. Like, I like sheer lipsticks, but not that sort of shade. These are from the Melt and Bailey Sarian collab. I... I really do like these. I think I will keep these. This one's probably my favorite. They are a little more drying as long as you do like a good base, like moisturize, scrub your lips and all that. They will look good. And I'm not a, the biggest fan of browns on me, but I like the tones of these. These are so old. These are from the Nightmare Before Christmas collection with ColourPop. These are from the first round. Pink for Sally. I don't know why they did that. And this is a nude for Oogie Boogie. They're cute, but they're just way too old. The mini liquid lipsticks from the Melt and Bailey Sarian collab. I'm definitely gonna keep these because they're young, like six months old and still good. Like, I love those. Give Beauty, this is Tragic Me. I got this, I think, in a more recent boxy charm. Pretty shade. Maybe I'll keep that one. This is Persona Cosmetics. It's a balm. Not into that. Flower Beauty, this is the perfect pout soft matte lip color. Again, it's like the moussey texture, which I like in some, some brands I like, and then like others I'm just not into. I think I'll pass on that. The Glowing Lips from ColourPop. I hate the smell of these, so I don't know if that just means like they went bad, but like they smell not great, but I remember when I first got them, they smelled horrible too. From Lottie London, this is the Cheeky Kiss. It's a little heart, very cute. I was gifted this as part of a paid sponsorship. I did like it, but I have not used it since, oh, that was like a year ago. Kaja Beauty, this is also a heart shape. Mm, that's gonna be a maybe. This is a lip from Ulta Beauty. I think that one's a no. These are from Siate and Iris Atful, who just more recently passed away. These are pretty lipsticks, but these are quite old. They're pretty, but like I said, too old. Anastasia lipsticks, this one is a matte lipstick and resin. Like, it is so pretty. Like, I really love that shade. That one, I'm definitely keeping. Oh, this one is Haze. This is like my new favorite lipstick. Like, it is so pretty. I pair it with the Ashton Lip Liner from ColourPop, and it's the perfect combo. And this one is Taupe Beige, which I believe I got this in BoxyCharm. It's pretty. I'll keep that. These are the Urban Decay lipsticks. These are their Vice lipsticks, which I believe is what they repackaged. I bought these shades because I really thought that I liked them, and now it's just not my vibe. Ooh, this one is from Half Magic Beauty. This is Magic Brownie. It's a brown shade. I love Half Magic Beauty, but I do not like that shade on me. This was uh, gifted through BoxyCharm. And these are the new-ish not new. They launched last year. These are the Urban EK liquid lip color. Yeah, shake these first. These were gifted to me from the brand, straight from Urban Decay. Still in shock that that happened. Those shades at the bottom. I am going to keep all of these because I do like the formula on these and I'm still just shocked that Urban Decay knew who I was and sent me a PR box. All right, took a quick break to try to get off some of the lipsticks because it was getting a little messy. Very stained. These were the Creature Cosmetics lipsticks. So hard to get off, but that just means that they're gonna last forever on your lips. But now let's talk about Unearthly Cosmetics. Alright, so 
A few of these were gifted to me, like these three and that one. And one more was gifted to me and I don't remember which one. Let's get ahead and start swatching. I don't know how many of these I want to keep. This is Eve. This is a more nude one. They have a lot of unique undertones. I really like that one. Oh, I have two Lindas. I think this is the I think this is the old one, so I'm going to toss that one. This one is like the one that they gifted me. See that one was so watery, that one is more moussey. I really do, do like the shade, I used that in a recent video. Jasmine is like this really unique yellow, but it makes my teeth look even worse than they normally do. This is Kalina. Again, it's like a really pretty shade, but it just does not look that great on me. Mandy is like this really unique baby poop green. I don't have any shade like that, so I'm going to keep that one. All right, so it turns out these three are new that they sent me. I didn't realize that I own them already, so I'm gonna throw these into a future giveaway. Moving on though, this is Diana. This is a beautiful cool tone. Definitely keeping that one. Angela is like a purple. I'm not the biggest fan of purples on me, so I'm gonna not keep that. This is Gladys. This is orange. I'm gonna keep this one since I got rid of the one from Creature Cosmetics. This is Dreamy. Just a great nudie shade. I am gonna keep this. I think what I'm gonna do at the end once I get rid of all that I'm getting rid of, I'm gonna re-swatch the ones I'm keeping and narrow it down either, even further because I don't need like multiples of the same shade. This is Delight. Still nude, but more brown. Jeanette. It's very yellowy. I don't know if the camera is picking it up exactly how it is. This is Ginger. I'm gonna swatch that next to it. You know what? I think I like Ginger more than Gladys. So I'm gonna keep Ginger and get rid of Gladys. No, oh, I had two Angelas that were open, so I'm gonna get rid of those. Minerva. It's pretty, but not vibing with it. This is Flirt. Beautiful, but I think I kept another shade that looks just like that. And Samantha. This is like a bright pink. Beautiful, but I don't know. I'm not into pinks. So, kept six out of all that. I'm gonna pivot to lip liners real quick. So I'm going to first start with these two. I bought a new Ashton lippy pencil because this one is quite old and it's like falling apart. But this is my absolute favorite lip liner. Beautiful. So I'm gonna get rid of the old one and keep the new one. Oh, this one is nostalgic. I can't swatch it because I need to sharpen it. This was the lip liner I used on my wedding day. This is Melt Cosmetics Nudist. Beautiful. But I got married three and a half years ago. I have a few from Jaclyn Cosmetics. I don't think I'm gonna keep all these. I don't wear lip liner that often. The one I just gravitate towards is the Ashton one. I didn't really care for these. This is from Flower Beauty. It's not bad, but not the kind that I like. This is from, I don't know, something I got in BoxyCharm. I like the tone of that one, so I'll keep that one. Oh, this is ColourPop. Where'd it go? Oh, there it goes. That's so weird. Oh, well, I'm gonna get rid of it. This is ColourPop. So happy. This is from Blend Bunny. This has no name on it. It's a deeper one. I'm gonna keep it because I really like the formula on that. This is another ColourPop. Get rid of that. And another ColourPop one. It's beautiful, but it's quite old. This is from Scone. I just recently got this one, and I quite like that shade. It's a wooden one, not my favorite, but I enjoy it. And then these two from e.l.f. I have light brown and soft pink. I like these when I was using them, but swatching them, I don't like these colors. So I am going to pass on those two. That means I have four lip liners. I think that's more than enough. All right, so I have this bag, but real quick, I'm gonna go through what I have here. So it's just some lip oils and some just newer stuff that I got that I haven't put away yet. These are two of the Urban Decay lip bonds. I haven't opened these ones yet, but I'm gonna keep them. This is a lip oil from e.l.f. that I have not used yet. I'm gonna open this and swatch it because I am curious if I got a decent color. This is Rose Envy. Oh, that's pretty. I really like lip oils. This is new to me. This is Buxom. This is the Plump Shot in Dolly Babe. I'm gonna keep that one be just because it is new to me. I think all of these I'm going to keep. This is also something that I got. I did swatch these. This was from BoxyCharm. This is the Instant Crush Lip Gloss Duo by Half Caked. They're really pretty. I don't know how well you're gonna see gloss in this light. 
This has a little bit of sparkle to it. Not gonna see it too well, but I do really enjoy those. TYS or Tiz Beauty, this is another gloss. I don't know what the name is since there's not a name on it, but it feels really great. I don't know how I'm gonna swatch all these glosses. They're not gonna show up that well. This is a lip oil from LAJ Beauty. This is really pretty. I love this. Very nourishing. I'm not gonna swatch these because they barely show up. I have three more lip oils from LAJ Beauty. Love all of these. And then I have the three lip oils from the Twilight Collection. I'm going to keep these. You can kind of see the colors. Those are from the Twilight Collection. Alright, now this bag, I'm gonna just empty it real quick and then get started with that. Alright, so this is gonna be very sticky if I swatch all these and most of the colors you can just see. I'll swatch a couple of them, but for the most part I'm not gonna swatch these. Plus my battery's dying, so I want to get through this pretty quickly. Oh, this is my other liquid lipstick from LAJ Beauty that I love. This is Slay. Beautiful shade. Definitely keeping that. Glosses from Lunar Beauty. They are gorgeous, but I just don't reach for them and they're old. Fenty Beauty uh, Lip Cream? What? Gloss Bomb Cream. I like the formula, but I do not like this color. These Fat Oil Lip Drips from NYX Cosmetics. I really like these, but I think... I'm just gonna keep the supermodel shade because these ones are really pretty, but they just don't look that great or flattering on me. I kept this from my last declutter thinking that I was gonna use this. This is the Wet n Wild and Lilo and Stitch collab. It's a really pretty gloss. It has like a blue reflect in it, but I have not touched it since whenever my last declutter was. Another Luna Beauty lip gloss. This is Enchantment. This one is actually really pretty. That's gonna be a maybe. A lip oil from ColourPop. This one is just really old. Gen Zen. Eloise lip oil. I got this in BoxyCharm also and I tried it and I did not like it. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. Ooh, I forgot I had this. The Milk Makeup Odyssey lip oil gloss. It's such a pale pink. Completely forgot I had that. This gloss from Lux Be Aesthetic. This was in collaboration with Spooky Susie Sparkle. Susie is a wonderful creator. Barbie owns Lux B. She is a wonderful person. Also, this is a beautiful gloss. I don't even know if the camera's gonna do it justice. It has like a green shift. Oh, you can kind of see it. It's gorgeous. I need to use this more. This NYX Duck Plump. I despise this. It hurt me so bad. Just no. Rare Beauty Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Hope. I love this. It's such a beautiful formula. I love it. This is a duochrome gloss from Indie Beat Cosmetics. It is so pretty. It is absolutely stunning. The owner of Indie Beat Cosmetics just recently reopened her shop. She did have it kind of on pause because her husband suffered a, I believe, a stroke. And she's just been taking care of him. But if you'd like to support a small indie brand, a black-owned, woman-owned business, check out Indie Beat Cosmetics. They do amazing stuff. Is it LYS? These are messy. Wasn't a fan of them. LAJ Beauty Glosses, this one, which is just a nude gloss. I'll hold on to that one. And this one, it's a beautiful sparkly pink. Not something that I like. Unfortunately, I think this was gifted to me, but I'm going to sadly get rid of it. Forget the Filler by Lawless. I have used the crap out of this gloss. I don't think I have much left in here. I am like down to here. It's such a nice gloss. I love it. This is Honey Drip from Jaclyn Cosmetics. It looks gross in the tube, but still good. It's one of my absolute favorite lip products. I love it. This is the Lottie London Oil Slick in Blueberry Kiss. It's just really like hydrating on the lips. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to that. NYX Butter Gloss. Same thing with the Velvet Matte. The other lip products from NYX that I said I didn't like. I'm spacing on the name. The Butter Glosses I like more, but I don't like the shade. I don't know why I bought the entire Barbie collection. So Juicy from ColourPop. This is so old. This is Milky Gloss from NYX. This is in Cookies and Milk. I kind of hate the name. Just like Milky Gloss just does not sound appealing. But it's pretty, but I don't think I liked how this looked on me. And I have these two things from Lana Lips. I've used about half of this lip treatment. It's nice. I like my pharmacy one more, so I'm not going to keep this one. And I did not like how this made my lips look. This pink one. Seattle London. This was in collaboration with Smiley. This is the Pump Plump. This is a plumping lip gloss. It's really pretty, but I'm gonna pass on it because I'm just not into really like plumping stuff right now. And I'm gonna keep the Buxom one. I really like that one. It's a clear plumping gloss. 
and this is white Russian. Oh, this is plumping too. This is a plumping lip cream. Just a pale pink. It's actually really pretty. I'd keep the buxom one. This is from Pink Lips. Wasn't a fan of this. We Makeup, this is a lip plumper. I'm gonna keep this one. Forget what I said about lip plumpers. I don't like extreme burning ones. This one and the buxom one are not bad. I can handle it, so I'm gonna keep that. Oh, this one's from LAJ Beauty. This is Festive AF. It's a beautiful glossy red, but the idea of wearing a glossy red just not necessarily sketches me out, but it's like, why? And this is Anastasia Diamond Lip Gloss. Just a really pretty, shimmery gloss. There's a lot of glitter in it. I don't think it's gonna pick up. I'm gonna hold on to this if I get the cat hair out. But I'm gonna hold on to this one. Do I need this many lip oils and like glosses? No, but they make me happy. All right, and then these ones are all, all new to me-ish that I bought and just haven't used. Except for this one, I think I used. This one is from Seattle Dylan. It's a Raspberry Burst Exfoliant AF HA Lip Serum. I'm gonna hold on to this one. I think I used this. This is from Make Beauty. Just a pink like gloss. I'm gonna get rid of that. These are the Blend Bunny ones. I'm gonna keep these. And I have these from Jaclyn Cosmetics. I think I'm going to add these ones unopened to my future giveaway. Same with this Tarte Maracuja Lip Oil and these Essence What the Fake. Uh, these are plumping glosses. And I have these NYX Shine Lab ones. These are unopened. I'm going to pass these along. And I have this lipstick from Apple Doll. This is in the shade Poison. Now, typically, when I get a black lipstick, I prefer a liquid lipstick, but this is so pretty. That's like a beautiful, soft, matte black. Keeping that. This is Not Your Baby from About Face. It's the matte lip paint color thing. I'm gonna keep that one. And this one is from LAJ Beauty in the shade Jax, if I can get it out. This one is a deeper red. I'll give this one a try. I'll just quickly swatch these Blend Bunny ones. From what I remember when I bought these, the lip liners do not have names. That's why they are in these little packages. Also, they're part of a set. So we have Dal Face, Tease, and Like a Pro. All right, this is Like a Pro. Ooh, that's really pretty. Why don't I use these more often? And that's the lip liner to match that. This is Tease. Ooh, beautiful. And Dal Face. Ooh, very pretty. Ooh. Yes. I don't know why I haven't opened those sooner. So let me once again clean off my hand and then we'll go through what I'm keeping. I think for these, I'm just gonna get rid of these. These were my maybes. Still haven't decided if I wanted them, so that just means I don't. All right, so this is a little bit of a mess, but I have it broken down with what I have remaining. There are 41 lipsticks, seven lip liners, and then the other lips, which are glosses, oils, whatever, 27 of those. So I think I'm gonna take a second now, which will be longer than a second. I'm gonna swatch literally everything and then try to narrow it down just a little bit more, except for the lip liners. I'm gonna leave the lip liners at seven, so it's gonna be this and this and see if I can cut this number down, which is a total of 75. Let's see if I can cut it down to under 50. All right, so this is all of the lipsticks that I have kept that I'm gonna now narrow down. So I started with my bullet lipsticks. I think I'm gonna keep all of these just because I have a little bit of variety if I want a bullet lipstick. And these are all my liquid lipsticks. I honestly think I really want to narrow this down. Let's work backwards. So the last two are Creature Cosmetics. The more I think about it, yes, these are unique, but when am I ever going to use a blue or a white? Almost never. Four back here are from LAJ Beauty. I love Sable and Slay. These two are my favorite. I love how these two look, but I think, I think I'm gonna pass on these. Then the next ones, I am gonna keep both of these. These are right there. And then KVD Beauty, I think. I think I have a similar shade. This is very similar to one from Blend Bunny. I think I'm gonna get rid of the KVD one. This one, obviously, gonna keep the black there. 
So I'm picking About Face over KVD Beauty. I'm skipping around. I am gonna keep all the Blend Bunny ones. I got mixed up. I'm gonna keep the Blend Bunny ones and the Black Moon and About Face. So this is Jaclyn Cosmetics. I'm gonna get rid of that one because I'm gonna keep the one from Milk Cosmetics. And this one is such a unique shade, but I think think. I think I'm gonna pass on it. And I'm gonna keep strawberry from Anastasia. So these are my Unearthly Cosmetics ones. I am gonna end up keeping all of these, followed by keeping all of my Urban Decay ones, which starts here. So just getting rid of eight more. So that leaves me with 33 lipsticks all together. Now to do the lip oils, try to get that down. All right, so here are all the lip oils and basically lip glosses spread out. I thought about swatching these again. I'm just gonna pick through these. I know I'm gonna keep the ColourPop ones. I'm gonna keep my LEJ Beauty. I think I'm gonna pass on these two glosses. I'm gonna keep all my Buxom. I'm gonna get rid of my Anastasia. I'm gonna keep the Half Cake because those are fairly new to me. And as much as I love the Jaclyn Hill one, I think I'm gonna get rid of it because it's as pretty as it is, it is a little gross in the tube. And I'll keep the Tiz Beauty. Elf is new. I'm gonna keep the Siate Lawless. I think I'm gonna pass on the Oil Slick, the Wee Makeup Lip Plumper, keep the Rare Beauty, keep the Milk, get rid of NYX, keep Indy, and keep Luxby. And this is what I have left. So I have a total of 60 lip products all together. I am very happy with this. I have 20 lip glosses slash other products, 33 lipsticks, liquid, and bullets, and seven lip liners. This is more manageable for me than 200 plus. Hopefully I can use up some of these throughout the year, especially the lip oils, and just keep dwindling this more. And something that I'm doing this year is keeping track of my makeup. So by the end of the year, whatever lipsticks I don't use, I'm going to get rid of. My battery's dying, so I'm going to go clean up my arm, charge my camera, and then it's going to be a new day and I'm going to film the intro and outro. Obviously, I'm filming this outro right after I finish filming the intro, so uh, there's that. I'm trying to get back into filming and uh, having a schedule. Anyways, I got rid of a ton of lipsticks. I'm down to only 60 lip products, so that includes lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, lip oils, lip treatments, lip glosses, and everything in between, 60 of those. That is, that is still an obscene amount of lip products for one person, but I'm happy with that. I have basically almost no repeating colors. I have some of my favorite formulas, and I'm just, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. So I'm just gonna wrap this up by saying thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, give this video a like, thumbs up, hit the bell notification, whatever, subscribe. It really helps me out. I really want to um, see myself grow more on social media because all this makes me happy. Makeup makes my heart happy. But yeah, I think that's it. You can follow me on my other socials if you're interested in that. I'm Artistry X Ash everywhere. And if you like book content, I am Devouring Bookishly on TikTok and Instagram. I think that covers everything. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you have an amazing day or night whenever you're watching this and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.